Okay, we're heading on up to the top of the hour now, about uh, 24 minutes before 4 o'clock, counting down the final hour and a half of the workday for all you 9 to fivers out there. And uh, Tommy and Andrew in the studio, say hi guys. Hi guys. Hey Bermuda. <laughs> nice to have you in here. Tommy, we, uh, you and I have a thing, and everybody knows about it because I talk about it all the time. <laughs> You know, um, so uh, nice that you uh, got Andrew down here finally. Welcome, yeah, it's good Andrew. To be here. Uh, we've talked often about the new trainers with Chinese tongues here uh, on the mix, and we feature your sort of sonic pop alternative, wonderful <laughs> musical arrangements that you guys have been making, at least for the last uh, two sort of EP efforts that I've heard. I'm, I'm a real fan of it. And uh, thanks for coming in. And you actually bought me a new song too. Yeah, thanks for having us. Um, we did. We've been working on, you know, several things, you know, recently and trying to get them produced. Mm -hmm. um, that's the hard part, it seems. So. Yeah. At some point, you were saying you want someone to like shiny things up a little bit. Was yeah. the words you used? So, uh, have you been successful in, in getting to that point? Well, Drew's actually been doing the that. shiny guy. I'm yeah, shiny guy. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, you know, it's hard kind of when you're immersed in it sure. all the time. You're hearing the songs over, over and over, and over. Yeah. you mm -hmm. know. Um, so, uh, yeah, we've been kind of trying to do it mostly on our own. Uh -huh. um, always open to any suggestions or help from other people. So, mm -hmm. cool but, stuff. Um, yeah, we've had pretty good luck with it. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the new song um, we're excited about. Mm -hmm. um, you've been playing some of the older stuff. So. Yeah, I've been playing, I play Rubber Doll, I play Pygmy. I had that tiny little, like, less than two minute version of Kick, and I've used that a couple times, but it's nice to know that we have the, uh... That's, that's the, the full version, the believe it or not. The full version <laughs> of it, finally. Oh, well, I like it, because, you know, no, you know, sometimes you just want that, and then, you know, the, and then the mood of it, and the conversation you're having with how you're programming, and you need yeah. that to fit right in, you know, so, um... Not every song has to be, you know, the epic arrangement. Right. We like the brevity of things. Yes, yeah, yeah. simpler is, is better sometimes. Um, so, Andrew, you and Tommy have known each other for a long time, yeah? Quite a few years. We played together in the States. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Tommy came back came back home, and, mm -hmm. you know, he, he was doing his things there. And so he, you know, reached out to me and said, hey, I've got some stuff. Would you be interested in working together? Yeah. So um, we were using the wonders of modern technology yes. to make that connection. Mm -hmm. um, and it really worked out. Yeah. It really did. Um, it's just a, a way of, you know, we trust each other as musicians. Mm -hmm. So it's not like we have to be in the same room to write. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it really worked out for the both of us. Mm -hmm. I often talk with people who are getting into doing music production, writing their own songs, whatever, whatever, young people, and because I try to promote a lot of uh, young folks wanting to get into the performing or the music production business here, and I say, collaborate. Don't okay. be Superman right. and think that you can do everything yourself. Well, you probably, well, you can with, you know, a laptop and a software package now. Yeah. But still, I, you know, um, uh, Dave Grohl said in the uh, Sound City, um, Sound City uh, uh, documentary that he did, actually, I think it was Tom Petty who said it. It's about like-minded people having a conversation, preferably in the same room, <laughs> yeah. to, to create the energy of, of any particular song. But the fact that you guys can do it, we can do it now. Yeah. Back and forth. You're still. It's, it's about having the conversation and being like-minded. And then you know, perfection is like never achievable, but the the, the perfect take often is right. when you're doing it that way. So well, ours is a long-distance conversation. It is a long-distance <laughs> conversation. Via Dropbox, we meet together in this <laughs> imaginary space in the sky, yes. and then we go back to our you know uh -huh. our, our uh, humble abodes mm -hmm. abroad. And I think we actually speak maybe once a month. Yeah, but it's all talking to each other through, uh, through, through the, the interaction yeah. of the music, exactly. Well, we're going to play the song right now for a bit, and then we'll chat with you guys a little bit more. And uh, we're glad you're enjoying yourself, you and your lovely wife. You're on your vacation for a little while. In Working on my tan. <laughs> <laughs> I know how it is, uh, these overcast guys. But as you were saying, you know, it's a nice break from that heat and humidity we were yeah, having yeah. for a couple of days. So, uh, you know, you walk around town, contribute to the economy, sure. all of that stuff. You know, that's part of a vacation, too. That's now, Drew's wife right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. We love it. We love it. So, uh, we're going to play, um, you know, one of my favorite ones, um, you know, that I've played before, and here we have uh, the uh, final version of it, track three. And uh, which one is this again? It's a uh, rubber doll. Rubber doll, that's right. Here we go.